Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, The Plant Odyssey, where we explore plants. Today I want to take you with me as I want to go to the Equigenera pop-up in Manhattan. Um, I live in the Bronx, so I got on the bus and this is me getting on the bus, plugged my phone in because I needed to be charged 100% so I could have my phone ready so I could record everything with you guys. Um, buses in the Bronx um, actually have USB ports on the buses. How funny. We have a long walk ahead of us. It's like a 30 minute walk. So we're going to walk in the streets of NYC so you can see a little bit of what the environment is. What it looks like. Um, yeah. On my way there, we, we found some baby raccoons trying to come down on the street. So there were like people on the street just trying to get them to go back up into Central Park. Great little friend here. I don't know, he's just chewing on those weeds. There were three of them if you could see. Very cute, adorable. And then this is Central Park. I've been there twice. Um, I've been lost there twice. Um, but we had to cross through to go to Columbus um, Avenue where the pop-up was going to be. So enjoy the sights, look around. New York City in the summer, everyone is out. I'm gonna be honest with you, the only way I'm able to navigate my way through is with the GPS. Beautiful. The little kids are out in their little green vests. That's me getting lost. <laughs> Had to get back on track. I don't know if you can hear in my background, there's actually that ice cream truck. Look at that beautiful scene. It is just beautiful. Central Park at its finest, guys. Come to New York City. Nice, peaceful nature in the middle of the city. And then here at the Equitino pop-up. Guys, I'm gonna apologize in advance. I'm like a kid in a candy shop, okay? And after my horrific experience with plantbuys.com where all the plants I bought came rotted and didn't even have leaves to show for it. So I'm like, I ordered a Gloriosum from them. So you know I am on the hunt for a Gloriosum here. Mm -hmm. I have two crystallinums. They have a lot of crystallinums and their prices are pretty reasonable. Um, I'll try to put the prices on the screen, the ones I did see. I tried not to get the people in the store. Not that it was horribly crowded compared to other Equigenera pop-ups that I have seen. But I tried not to get the people in the video as I didn't have their consent. And this is me just fanning out over the plants instead of holding up my camera. I promise I'm gonna get better at this, guys. Just so you know, I'm very concerned about it. I have no idea what these are. I'm sure you guys know more than me. I know they have some crazy birds. What's the difference with the glorious birds? What different types do you have? They have some rosums. Yeah. I kind of asked the lady what's the difference between a, a, a Gloriosum Verde versus the other Gloriosum and she didn't really tell me. 
she wasn't sure i was okay, a bit okay. disappointed i thought they would know i thought i would get a lot of my questions answered here um that was not so they had a lot of luxurians they had a lot of Morocuanums. um they had no the the glorious birthday was 65 dollars um Yeah, they had Jose Buenos, they had Burl Marx Flame, they had um, Burl Marx Variegata, <laughs> they had Tortums, they had Serpents. I was in my happy place, guys. If you haven't been, if you haven't been to an Janeiro shop, up, I would advise you. <laughs> Pop up. I would advise you to go. It's an experience. And like this um, location was not that crowded. They're going to be there for three days. So if you're in NYC, I say go. Remember the last day usually they have sales. I wanted to have my choice of plants. So it was either I was going to go and get the percent off or I was going to get the plants that I wanted. They had coupons. A lot of them were... And pink, pink princesses. princesses, but the pink princesses, they were dark in color, they had yellow in leaves. Um, I didn't see any variegation, and the, I think they were about $60 for the pink princesses. A lot of the plants, they did range their prices. What's that? I can't pronounce that. Um, their prices, they, they, a lot of them, they um, adjusted them versus the size or how many leaves or that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. But some of the plants were so yellow. Like that plant was all yellow for $75. I mean, no. They also had that's the plumania with all the yellow and stuff. Okay. You know I just went through that traumatizing experience where I bought two of them and one of them was yellow. But they weren't that yellow. I would have died if they were that yellow. The mine are still hanging in there. So I didn't need to buy a flow manual. I will say that they had plants that were already acclimatized from Florida. They were already in pots. And I, for what I got, I tried to get those. I didn't want any of the ones that I needed to acclimatize. And they had those in the boxes. My mommies are 65. Mommies were $65. Again, a lot of yellow in uh -uh. They had a lot of orchids, but the orchids well. they range from twenty five oh, up. Are these pink and if I'm gonna get orchids, so black, like nah, I I'd rather get amphibiums and philodendrons. I am trying to get into orchids, but honestly, they're very challenging for me, and they should be easy plants, but not for me. I have two at my home that I'm currently struggling with right now. What's that? That's 20 something. I want an orchid. And that's an orchid. All right, leaves are not too mushy. I'll think about this one. It is a... Not for me. I did not get any orchids i have princess. one pink princess i bought my pink princess um it was reverted from hans house of plants i'm not even sure where they're located and i put it on a bright light and i have a lot of irrigation it's growing i did try to propagate it and i killed the bottom piece but the top cutting that i propagated went off very well and i have a whole big plant now i'm scared to propagate it because i don't want to <laughs> it again but i don't have a choice so guys you can just look um i tried to make sure i got the prices in the in the in the view so you could see them if if i didn't see it or it was difficult to get i tried to type it in so you'd be able to see but i honestly i i'm not an orchid person so i just browsed over it so those of you who are orchid person can actually see a little bit see what they had it was a fun day for me i couldn't figure out what that 750 meant and 
Yeah. I can't imagine okay. that there's an orchid that costs seven hundred and fifty dollars. So well, I don't know. I'm, I didn't get a chance because there were I think three mm. people working there, and okay. um, I didn't want to bother them as it's yeah. not like I was gonna buy it whether it's seven fifty yeah, or prices. not. So I just kept it pushing. Is that something for fifteen? I think that was fifteen. I didn't see that. I saw something for eight, but when I went to the register, they said it wasn't eight dollars. I was gonna get it for eight dollars because, like, if I kill it for eight dollars, it'll be okay. But um, I wasn't gonna spend money on something that I'm gonna kill. Um, honestly, I have. I bought some plants. I'm gonna make a separate video to go over the haul, just because this one is um, 37 minutes and I'm exhausted. The sun is very hot, and I did a lot of walking. What is this? Crystalline, Crystalline 60. Something that's 200. They were pretty healthy, especially the ones that were already in pot. I was happy. I needed a pick me up after my experience with the plant I will not be ordering from them again. Elegance. 50. Um, this I mean, thankfully, the, a lot of plants were get their pink in pots. They weren't, if they were they all in like plastics, I don't know how I would have gotten through them. Um, and they weren't separated oh, in a sense a of day. all the crystallinums on one side, all the antimums on one side. It wasn't separated like that. I'm Just not even sure what. No, I don't know. I just I just went through each box. Mm. Yeah. And just look at the screen. You'll see the name. There are some things I honestly cannot pronounce. Don't ask me to. I can't pronounce it. I don't feel like making a fool of myself okay. today. Okay, guys. Uh huh. Sixty dollars. Great price. And look at that root. So fat. That made me happy. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Seventy dollars, guys. Seventy. A lot of places try to sell you a leaf or you spend a lot of money on it and you come and you can't acclimate it, acclimate, you can't acclimate it and it dies. And that's one of the most upsetting things that I could go through. I don't want to do that. So many anthuriums. Oh my gosh. Is that it's two hundred dollars, okay. whatever it was. Two hundred Serenai Velvet. What was that? 80? There was a lot of those. Velvet. I don't that's not yeah. for me. That that's oh, nice. nice. They even had five constellations and a lot of warm plants. Yeah, and they range on the amount of leaves and um, how big they were. The thigh constellation was three fifty. It only had one good leaf because that new growth. <laughs> Um, I'm not gonna comment on it. You can see oh, it right there. Yeah. No comment. I don't know what that is. It was interesting though. The price wasn't bad, but it was bad for what it was. But I don't know what it was. So. Whatever this is. More horror Ninety. I think it's a more of a They had a lot. We have a bag constellation. A nice big leaf. Two fifty. Long leaves. 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 Long lea
again these in the plastic are not already acclimated so when you take these home you will have, have acclimated more them prayers. the cuprias were seventy dollars i mean but i, I can get way cheaper on canopy plants it's for twenty five dollars and it's i purchased one on gabriella and i'll show it to you when it comes to when i'm back to my, my gabriella order um and that was 29 so these are 70 and they're going to need acclimated. I already purchased one from Eco Janeiro and guys, I am so So, okay. be careful when you, when you import that these, one. Mini they had mini orchids. They were like 20, 25, 30. Like I'm not 30, into mini orchids. I'm not into grown orchids. I'm not into mini orchids, period. Okay. Um, I don't know if you saw me. I just found one of the things that I've been I'm on a budget. I gave myself a three hundred dollar budget. Of course, I went over it, um, but I'm totally happy. I'm on a plant land for the next. Um, let's start with a month. <laughs> let's start with a month, and then we'll go to eighty. Yeah, I wanted one of those. That I had, it's a so kind of a gosom, I think. One. But the one I bought don't look nothing like that. Even mine is a seedling. I, I can't yeah, see it looking yeah, like that. Yeah. So I wanted one, but you know what? I can't risk it. I still, I'm still here struggling with the one I bought from Epigenera. It didn't have any roots, so I know I'm struggling, and I'm not going to take it out. I'm going to pray about it. They got regals for $70. Regals, they 70. were actually beautiful. Mm. Guys, they were beautiful. The V2, they were beautiful, but I'm still here struggling with the one I got. Oh my goodness. I'm not gonna buy another one. I'm gonna struggle with the one I got. Even if I, and if I get it done, no, I don't know, guys. The leaves on these are pretty thin. I like leaves with substance to them. Uh, the firmer the better so the vici in reality or on websites when you look at them it's one thing but for me it's not my cup of tea i don't think i purchased that again unless they came up with one that would uh, you know some oomph to it i could do that maybe i can find some of the plants there was no oomph to that vici Cooper has um, but I'm struggling with the one I got, so that's why I purchased the second one. Let's see if I am, if I have any luck with that one. They only had these little melancros, uh, melanocrysums, um, just the ones in pot. They didn't have any in the bags. Um, Twenty-five dollars for a syngonia albo, syngonium albo. Um, I don't know. I was a little bit disappointed disappointed no. and theorem base was yeah, aff yeah, 90 dollars yeah. i was a little disappointed with the melano price yeah. because i really want a big leaf one i did purchase one from equigenera um i imported and i had to chop it up and the leaves are small and there was no roots so and you know they can be fussy so let me continue to struggle with the one i got if i'm ever lucky enough to see another equigenera pop up and mine doesn't make it then it'll be on my list but for now i'm gonna no i'm not gonna be greedy yeah. more rock, kinds of rogosum i want to say what is um, this one today i was happy what's the price 45 today i was very happy it, today was the first day they'll be there for two additional days they'll be there saturday and they'll be there sunday i can't go tomorrow because i have to work tomorrow and i'm on call is how i'm gonna work and i can't if i if i'm on call i have to get to work within 30 minutes if i get a call so that's why i had to go today and i made the best decision ever guys i'm happy i don't know what that is but i think i bought it we'll talk I don't know what I bought. <laughs> mm. Looks like some peperomias. They had peperomias. I just never saw 
those kind of peperomias before. And I, that one, I looked at it three times. It's a peperomia. Never seen it. Mm -hmm. Begonia, that was $25. They had some small Warroquianums. And I think they were like, how much was that? Uh, I can't recall. They were less though. Like even the Radicans, the, the Luxurians, they were, um, the price was based on the size and how many leaves. Luxurians were all over the place. And they were all flowering, guys. All flowering. That one was two hundred dollars. I already have a luxuriant. I purchased a seedling from Ecogenera. I imported it. I don't know how it's going. Pray for me. But that's not a cheap plant, and they were not cheap at the pop up either. They were one eighty. If you go online, though, you'll be paying a hefty sum. They were a lot more than one eighty to two hundred. So it's a good deal. If you really want one, then this is the time. You don't have to worry about shipping. They're in pots, so they're already acclimated. They're from the Florida warehouse. So if you think you want one and you have it in your budget right now, I say go get it. It wasn't in my budget today. Today was the day for me to feel good on a low budget. They had um, burn marks, variegated. I think those are ninety. 95. Okay. I stand okay. corrected. Okay. They have Coopers. Like Coopers are about like 70. Like Coopers. Yeah. I love Coopers, but I'm disappointed in how it's behaving in terms of the acclimation. I thought it would because it's so, you know, substantial. No. Are, are all your melon crossings mm -hmm. yeah. here? I'm this struggling, guys. Yeah. And did you bring the Florida Beauty? They did beauty? not have any no, Florida no. Beauty. Very disappointed. They didn't have any Florida ghosts. Yeah. All right. This is their section. That's that a serpent. It's a hundred. You should have seen me. I was struggling. One fifty. I wanted to serpent. I saw mm -hmm. something Look at that. was it's flowering. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> what is this? Fifty dollars. That's a plumania. Plumania. And it's flowering, guys. It's fifty. But I'm already it's traumatized. It's very happy if it's flowering. From my last Equigenera import. What is this? <laughs> Golden Dragon. But I have this. Golden Dragon, $50. Golden it was dragon, tiny. 75. I have a big. I don't even know if the Golden Dragon is the same mm -hmm. as the Lemon Lime. Fiddle. Oh, I, I, I can't tell the difference. I have a lemon lime fiddle. 50. I have a golden crocodile, and those are probably three different probably things. Yeah. Hanging plants or um, planters were like forty-five dollars. Yeah, take a look around. Most of them. They had some monsteras. Oh, what is this one? Huh? Curious. Curious. That. That's probably a luxury. No, that's yes. the patricia. The patricia were the patricia. 120 to 200. Okay. So, I'm not a fan of a patricia. What was that one now? What is this? 120? Not saying they're not nice plants, but you know, I, I decided that I wasn't gonna buy plants because oh, everyone else was talking about them or because everyone else says they like them. I wanted to buy something because I love it. I love the texture. I love the feel. See, 120 Patricia. 120 Patricia. What is that? This is huge. 100 maximum. Look at the size of it. I don't know what those spots um, are, though. Is. It's got spots on it, though, guys. I will not be nope. that one. Alrighty.
they're rooted okay they are rooted they are rooted the good thing is when i do my unboxing i don't have to take them I think I saw one person buy a pink princess. So they're on the last day they're probably gonna have those on crazy sale. They need to go down on the price. I mean sixty dollars isn't bad, but they have minimal variegation in those pink princesses. No. And those alocasias, I can't remember the name, the purple one were like twenty five dollars. The sword shape ones. Um, around ten fifty five dollars. <laughs> and they're regal ninety dollars. They were beautiful, guys. You have to go there in person to actually experience this thing. Mm -hmm. Thirty five dollars. Philadelphia Funnily enough, I've never heard of that Philadelphia, but. Every day another philodendron is born. It's one fifty, whatever this is. One fifty. Ah, philodendron Lainami high. A hundred and fifty dollars, guys. <coughs> okay. Boy. I was on the budget. I was on a budget. I wasn't going to OD or go OD. I was going to get the plants that they're hard for me to get, but their price is reasonable. Or something that I just love, the texture or something like that. Absolutely. No shame in my game. I am not going broke. What's this one? It looks like a water piano. Sure, nope. my velvet Sir all my velvet. over the place. They had a lot of that. They had a pop up purge at the Long Island Botanical Garden. What is that? I can't pronounce that. <sighs> um, yeah. Yeah, they had a pop up last weekend at the Long Island Botanical Garden. I think they set this up one with the leftovers. Um, I was gonna go to the one in Long Island, but it, it was too far. I'm gonna do that. At a Sonai Variegata, $550, guys. Five hundred. I thought the prices were coming down. That's not down. Tim Plaumaniai, $50. Never even heard of it. My price isn't my though. Yep. What is that? $2,200, Burl Marks Flame. Not my $2,200, guys. That's a really juvenile form from the ones I've seen. Um, but I'm sorry, it's not my cup of tea. If I have to spend that much money on it, no, it's not my cup of tea. What's this one? Jopii, $300. $300. They had the Mickey Mouse too, the, 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 the I look, uh, I've been here, I they were like $50. That's not horrible but this is also not my cup of tea mm, what's that beaches were a hundred dollars like i said i'm still struggling with the one that i purchased um no no more for me alocasias anthuriums everywhere 
the one thing i did want was a gloriosa but i didn't know if i wanted a verde i don't understand the difference between a verde or a regular gloriosa or some other thing that they had there were three different types of gloriosa that i saw and i don't know if there's a difference i guess i will do research on that um okay warroquianum esmeralda 120 and that was a huge one more anthuriums war queens hanging everywhere luxurians everywhere guys nowhere else are we gonna see all of this mm -hmm. and i'm glad that they had a lot of the acclimated ones that way i don't have to worry about killing my plant Beautiful. Rip leaf, still beautiful. New leaf coming out. Beautiful. Look at the coloration, guys. Oh, look at the venation, guys. Glorious on everywhere. Glorious on everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. I was having fun. Day well spent. I think those are the materials. Yep. Xanthus. Yeah. Okay, we did just say the buyers came. Beautiful. They wanted to bring an inspector, and then inspector said that it was not professionally done. I can't wait to go over my haul with you guys. I am. I have a tortum. I didn't need to buy a tortum. I didn't pay attention to their price because I already had one. I apologize, guys. I have no clue how much a tortum was. The Villa Nueva was large and it was a big, great price. I already have a tortum. My, I, it was a gift. So I'm very happy. I already have a. Obviously, you know I have Plomania's eyes, one that's on its last leg the way I got it, and one that I'm hoping never gets to that point. I already have my elbow. They have um, those um, Epipenatum. They even had one with great fenestrations, and those baskets were $45. Great price. I mean, the price is dropping, but I'm assuming it's not one leaf. Those are trailing. So that price is justified. I didn't even pay any attention. Wow, well, I'm not sure. Yeah, this wall kept me occupied for a little bit. Um, the price on that was a little high. I didn't want to pay that for it. I could just, you know, get it cheaper when the price drops. Especially being as I was getting all the other anthurians. No, I'm stuff. not taking. I'm just I have So to this lady, I hit my. They gave me a basket of <laughs> stuff in it and I put it under right, it's, it's the list. This, this lady found a way to pull the basket out. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm um, lit, lit girl. I've been here for a long it's, time. She no. kept saying she's not taking it. She's not taking it. Mm -hmm. she's not taking it. I know, and it's only 35. Um, I let her see it, and she still oh, wanted it, but she couldn't oh, have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even yeah. if I was going to purchase it, I know. Here, I was so There's two of them. Feel there. this one. I just realized yeah. I can't go far from my car. I know. I want both of them. People got eyes on I'm taking both. It's really cool. I'm taking both. Believe me. I just let her see that she. I don't think she ever found the plant. I will show you the plant. She won it out of my box when we do the the plant haul. Different video, guys. I'm gonna be exhausted. I'm going through this so I can talk with you guys, so I can kind of give you, uh, you know, what my thought process is. I was just happy. I was just happy. Twenty-five dollars, whatever that is. Just 
I'll do it again. Bueno, that's not a bad price. I got mine for more than that, but you know, it wasn't much. I bought mine for one fifty nine, so that's a good price. Because if you go other places now, I don't know why the prices of Jose Bueno seem to be climbing instead of coming down. Funny story about my Paracio Verde. I bought a leaf. I bought a leaf on a Facebook purge. Um, Album King purge. And the minute the leaf came, it started brown. Guys, right now the leaf is like three quarter brown. But then I notice, I see that it has roots. Um, I'm gonna do the update for you guys on those plants that I tried to root from a leaf. So you can see the process that it went through. And that is my final doot. Guys, thank you for watching. See you next time.